tailgate down. Hey, welcome to another episode of uh, Tailgating, brought to you by Scott Sports Canada and Mika Sport Canada. We got Hunter Yoder here, man. He's riding for the uh, Canadian-backed Supercross team this year, the Parts Hill PRMX team. So uh, get to know him uh, up north in Canada a little bit. Yeah. Hunter, thanks for sitting with us here. We're not on the tailgate technically, but uh, we're here at the shop, the PRMX shop. The guys are out there doing some yeah. laps. Hunter, thank you very much for chatting with us. Of course, thank you for having me on here. Sorry, it was a long intro. I'll let you talk here in a second. So I, I got to know, uh, first of all, how did this all come together with chatting with Julian and the guys? How did uh, how do we find ourselves here? Um, so Julian called me last year, I guess. I don't know what that would be, 21 maybe? Okay. Um, yeah, 21. And, uh, you know, that was when I was probably after Loretta's. I just came off two fifth, fifth place finishes. Um, just on my own bikes, privateer. Um, I had the help of a, my good friend Jamie Ellis from Twisted Development. He was a big part of it. And uh, Atlas uh, Speed Factory, he was helping me out with bikes. Okay. And then, um, so I was really happy with my finishes there. And then Julian called me last year and um, asked if I wanted to ride for him um, for Supercross. And uh, I chose to stick it out with a Honda team because that's what I was used to and you know the Honda support um, but this year I just felt like I needed a change um, a change of scenery um, change of motorcycle um, just all of it you know uh, I guess I just got stagnant back at home um, I guess the best way to describe I wasn't happy with my Supercross uh, results I guess would, okay. would be the best way to put it Sometimes a change is what it takes, right? Yeah, so I wasn't happy with my results. Wasn't, I guess, burnt out. Um, this summer, I didn't ride all summer, and Julian called me probably two months ago, and he asked me if I, if I want to ride for him, and <laughs> I, uh, I had a couple of kind of different offers on the table, but I felt like Julian's was the best offer, you know, come here. We got the, the Kawasaki support now, um, and with the help of South of the Border MX, we got two great Supercross tracks here. Um, we live on site. I, I ride my my bicycle to work every day, so <laughs> a two minute commute isn't bad. And uh, I got everything we need, you know, and out here it's kind of like, the best way I could describe it is like, a, cause I'm from California, so it's like a, it's going to college for me, you know. I'm living on my own. You're in the frat house. Yeah, we're all just <laughs> having a great old time together. So it's different change of scenery, and uh, I couldn't be happier with you know my decision. Um, it's all all learning experience for me, but if it was up to me, I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm super excited about this year. Okay, well you said you took some time off uh, off, uh, off the bike and everything and now you're back on it. How long have you been on it? Are you comfortable on the bike? You gotta have all your, your settings. I know you got TCD. Tim Bennett over there, he came on uh, on board to get your suspension. Uh, how is everything coming along with the bike and are you are you ready? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling really good. I uh, Just to go back to not riding all summer, I probably rode maybe, I think three times over the oh, course wow, okay. of summer. So had one of my buddies convince me to go out and I just had an old 450 that um, you know was just a, a practice bike that I rode a couple times and then once I decided to uh, ride for Julian um, I I put in probably two or three weeks if I had to guess maybe um, we call it seven to ten times riding so <laughs> From Salt Lake City Supercross till I guess three weeks ago, I probably only rode about 15 times, which for the average person sounds like a lot, but you know that's uh, it's really only about three to four weeks for us. Right, so, right, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, it was a lot of time off, but yeah, um, just to go back to the the bike setup and everything, I'm feeling really good on it. I. Uh, one of my uh, close mentors from uh, from Geico, his name is Darren. He uh, he works at WP now, and obviously I'm I was a factory connection guy oh, my okay, whole life, um, and so I was super bummed to be leaving Ziggy and the whole crew. Um, Guam, my suspension tech back at home, but uh, I talked to Darren, and 
he said that Tim from TCD was, you know, that him and Ziggy were two of the most reliable guys. And Excellent. So that gave me a, just a comfort thing, you know, in the, in the heart. Um, just made me feel good about my decision. And once I got here, Tim was here actually for my first two or three days of riding. And, okay. uh, you know, he was, suspension guys are pretty good at what they do, obviously. Um, but when you, when you get a good one, you can instantly tell. And, you know, Tim was helping me from the get-go just with big things, little things, all of it. And, uh, you know, after I got that experience, with him it just made me feel comfortable and excited for the year in front of me. Nice. Well, um, I, we were all pretty familiar with Tim and Heather. Heather raced up in Canada with us. They're Michigan people up in Canada all the time, so we all know yeah. him quite well. So that's why I mentioned a uh, shout out to Tim for sure there. So it's cool that you got to, you're comfortable with the suspension and everything. Uh, Body-wise, you're fit, you're feeling good out there. I know we just uh, did a couple sessions out there today. Yeah, uh, I'm feeling good. Like I said, summer off, put on a, couple LBs you know I was, uh, looking a little thick over the summer but uh, I've been back on the program I uh, I had to cut the pizza out of the diet unfortunately oh, don't cut the pizza out um, I had pizza three times at the Minios see you're on the program I like it I uh, yeah no I'm feeling good I've been in the gym been on the cycle with uh, my teammates we've been cycling two or three times a week pretty good nice. pretty good distances um and yeah first couple days i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was struggling i mean three four laps in i'm like <laughs> looking for the oxygen tank i was seeing stars um but week two we're on week three now i believe so feeling good putting down some 15 hands okay yeah hands are good you can mm -hmm. see oh yeah <laughs> i don't know if i say we got, good we got a little one good. but you guys can be the judge. <laughs> I've seen worse for sure. Um, but yeah, we're feeling good. I, uh, I'm excited to go race, especially because West Coast, it's my home, you know? Well, that's what I wanna ask you. Let's get to that. West Coast you're doing, okay? Yep, West Coast. Um, born and raised in San Diego. Lived in California my whole life. So it was a bummer last year because I raced East Coast and you know, obviously my whole family wants to be there, but uh, super excited for this year. San Diego, Anaheim, all those. I'm gonna be, nice. uh, all my family will be there, I'm sure. We'll sell out half the stadium at least, just, <laughs> nice. just with family members, so I can't wait. I'm uh, I'm pumped. Awesome, man, well cool. I just, take thanks for taking this time with us to get to know you a little bit there. Um, Hunter Yoda, the 508, the familiar 508, that's just gonna be your race number, I'm assuming? Yep, sure is. All right, so watch for the 508 on the parts of the PRMX team. Uh, yeah, West Coast 250 class. This has been another episode of Tailgating, brought to you by uh, Scott Sports Canada and Mika Sport Canada. Thanks, Hunter. Yeah. Good luck, man. Yeah, thank we'll you. Thank you for having me. All bets are off. Once you put the tailgate down.